look at how fat I look! <laughs> You're recording. Yes, I am. I'm recording my face like this because it's quite hilarious. Hi everyone, how are you going? So, today I'm going to be talking to you about my postpart... Po po post... postpartum belly. As you can probably see, I still have a big gigantic pooch. Like, this is three and a half years later since I've had my little Lucas. Um, I still have a belly that looks um, five months, maybe six months pregnant. Like, I've legitimately went out and had like multiple people ask me, oh my god, are you pregnant again? And I'm just like, no, I wish. I've been gaining weight. So I really got to try to lose it. I've been trying to eat healthier and the problem with me is that I'm all fine until like the week of the period that I'm just hungry all the time. I eat like a horse. I eat like five meals. No. Okay. One time my partner and I joked that this is, this would be my meal plan for the day. You've got breakfast, you've got morning tea, you've got brunch, you've got lunch, you've got dinner, you've got afternoon tea, you've got dinner, and then you've got supper, and then you got, what was the end? Yeah, I think supper is the, the end. Uh, basically, I just felt like eating all the time, and like as soon as I ate, I feel hungry again, and that's very hard, and um, yeah. So I am working on trying to eat healthier and losing a bit of weight, because I want to get back into my dresses that I bought last year that I cannot fit into anymore. But I have noticed that no matter what weight I am, my belly still sticks out. And I'm pretty sure it's the... I don't even know the name of it. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. I'll find it later and put it on the description or something. You know, it's where your muscle separates after you give birth and your belly just doesn't really go back to the way it was. And that's how I have been for the past three years. And here I am showing the belly for you right here. You can see the belly without anything covering it just because I want you to see just how large it is and how I can grab the fat from it. And of course here I have clothes on which makes it show even more I think. Like when I have something tight on me like this I really look pregnant and I bet people would ask me like when are you due? <laughs> Pretty funny. That's why if I'm buying clothes I never buy dresses that are very tight around my body. Look at this. Just look at this. Look at this. My god. Once again, grabbing my belly. The reason why I chose to share it is because I've seen a few videos of people just feeling down that they can't find anyone else with that kind of body after they had a baby. And I just thought, you know what? I have the body exactly like that. I want to share it. If this video could just make one person feel like their body is a bit more normal, I, I, that is worth it. That's what I really want to do. So I took this video in the change rooms at H&M because I wasn't going to buy those clothes. That's why I didn't, I didn't really have the type of clothing at home that could show my belly as good as in the clothing store. So I thought, you know what, I'll just go and like take the video in the change room and then put the clothing back perfect way right <laughs> so yeah for anyone who's also struggling with a body like this just know that you've done such a wonderful job you've brought you've brought a little baby into this world a, another human being you know that is such a special thing your body has done so much work and and just feel proud of what you've achieved I just really want to normalize this kind of body and just show you that hey this is normal this ha this happened to me <laughs> so I just really really want everyone to feel great about themselves you know you've all got great bodies and no matter how imperfect you think it looks just try to see just how amazing it is like it has done so much amazing work and you should be so proud of your amazing wonderful body thank you so much for watching hope you have a really lovely day and I will see you later. Bye.